Hi everybody, this is Nikki and I'm here to do a video that's my personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, and in fact, this is my last attempt at making a video that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, Mr. Munson, not my last video forever, hopefully. Um, just at my last attempt at doing a no calibration occurred and, and what to do about it. Um, I have managed to delete everything, get it back on, delete everything. I just can't do it for a video. So I'm going to try it again. And the reason I'm sharing this is because, um, you know, twice within a week, I got, I, I got a sensor that said no calibration occurred. Um, I lost the signal. It gave me no BG received. Um, you know, it was definitely a problem and, and it was telling me I needed to calibrate. My time was, my time was there to calibrate, but it wouldn't let me. Um, so I was kind of stuck in a black hole. Um, and, uh, the twilight zone but anyway so a call into Medtronic was great and they did walk me through all the steps with great success um, so I thought I would try to do the steps here and maybe it's not possible in a 45 minute video which is what it would take so the first thing I'm gonna do what I have learned so far is I'm going to turn on my contour I do need my transmitter and charger and I'm gonna start off with my contour because this seemed to take a couple minutes last time I'm gonna go down to setup. I'm going to go to pump options and I'm going to go to connection and I'm going to delete and I'm all brave now, but yes, I am going to delete it. I'm all brave now, but there was about 45 minutes of my life that I just freaked out because um, I couldn't get any of it back. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um, so that has been deleted. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is I need to delete. Um, both my transmitter and my meter from my pump. So I'm going to go into my menu. I'm going to go down. I know this is not easy for you guys to see. I'm going to go down to options. I'm going to go down to utilities, device options, and I'm going to manage devices. Um, and for some reason, my pump was not, my meter was not back on there, but that's okay. Um, oh, because I just deleted it. And I'm going to go ahead and delete my GT number. My meter was a BG number. I think it was BG number. My sensor is a GT number. I should have two, but I just deleted my, um, my meter. So I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to delete it. Yes. And I hope that I'm going to get it back as easily. Okay. So now everything has been cleared out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, and they told me to start with my meter, is I'm going to try to go ahead and connect my meter again. You need to have your transmitter on the charger. I think that's what they told me in the phone call. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to connect device. Um, and I'm gonna to go to auto connect, but I'm gonna wait just one minute. I'm gonna wait one minute on that because the meter will tell me to do the same thing. So I'm gonna go back to my meter. I'm gonna to go to pump options. And then this will kind of take me through the steps. Pump options, uh, no mini med, do I wanna connect now? I'm gonna hit yes. And then it says select connect device on your pump, which I already did. Okay. And then it's going to ask me if I want to do manual or auto. I was told auto. Um, so now it says click search on my pump. So I'm back here again. I'm going to hit continue. I'm trying to do auto connect. I do not have anything else trying to connect. So I'm okay. And search. And then I'm going to hit search on my meter as well. And now I have these two things that you still can't see trying to search for each other. Okay, I'm gonna set that there for a minute. Um, um, the times I have used this have been for no calibration occurred. And then, as I said, that kind of occurred in a tangle of no BG received. Um, I think that was the other message. But I also did it once when my sensor signal just dropped. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went. I never got any messages saying anything was wrong or to change the sensor. The signal was just dropped completely um, just with nothing. It was, you know, so I did this as well and it picked back up again and worked. So, um, so it's definitely something worth trying, not medical advice. <laughs> okay. There it is, my new device is in. I'm gonna hit confirm. This is gonna synchronize for a minute. There's my, that's exciting because I could not do that a couple minutes ago. Okay, um, and it's getting easier and it turns out that if you actually know what you're doing, it's not so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next on this and I hope this will just leave me alone. Okay, 
All right, now onto the sensor. Okay, I think that was a good one. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go down to connect devices. I'm gonna go down to auto connect. This one's gonna, this one requires one other step. I can hit continue, but before I hit search, I need to remove my transmitter from my charger, put it down on the table and I'll hit search. Um, and it says searching, start search on new device. Search may take up to two minutes. Um, so it may take up two minutes. I don't know if I run out of things to say in two minutes, <laughs> two minutes, which has never once in my life happened, then I will just make note of it in the description that it picked up. Um, I did do another video, a separate video, just on how to delete the transmitter from the pump, um, which now is all feeling very easy. You know, all is really easy. And I can hear my family coming in. <laughs> so it's do or die. I'm still searching. I'll tell you, I've done this screen about six times in the last 20 minutes and it's picked up every single time. So hopefully there's not a problem. I'm gonna start, do it, ah, and it's not a problem. New device, I got it. Transmitter connection successful and I have two devices back. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get my sensor in and get on with my day. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day, bye.